You back on that tea bag, son. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. T's bold and spicy. In the, hey, look here. In a half gallon jug. Well, here's what. <laughs> Is it I, good? I wish it had, no, no. I wish it had been in the refrigerator because if it had been, it would be. Well, we go get you some ice. I got we ice need, Well, we got to have four cubes of ice, right? That's, that's, well, you got something to put it in? What? Oh, read the, read the note that came with it. Oh, the note? There's yeah, a note we got a note. We got a oh, note. Oh, this was you. sent? Somebody sent it? Yeah. yeah. They sent it to me to give to you. <laughs> oh. Via Amazon. I just wanted to say I absolutely love the podcast. I also wanted to send Uncle Si a couple of bottles of Mr. and Mrs. T's Bloody Mary Mix. I also need to note Red Nucks are not the only ones who see Black Panthers. Thank you. I am a yuppie girl, 100%. Sorry about that, darling. But <laughs> I have seen a Black Panther. Thank you. Hey, I'm on the side side on this one, boys. Keep up the good work. God bless y'all. Emily. There you go. Emily right. sending gifts. There so you, you go. Can't, you can't beat this, okay? <laughs> I get two gallons of Mr. and Mrs. T's Bloody Mary mix. Bold then, and spicy. hey, I also get backed up <laughs> by a Black Panther sighting. Yeah, if you start believing in Black Panthers, that's what right. that's what'll happen. You will get backed right. up. You know what? Hey, oh, what boy. if I told you about that? What? This old boy here's gonna go to his grave. Okay, but that's fine. Hey, that Black Panther exists, boys. Trust but, me. Hey, I'm they're out you. there. I love dedication. I told Jason if one bit him on the butt, he wouldn't believe it. Yeah. I ain't one gonna bite him on the butt. He's too skinny, too skinny, too grisly. He ain't got no meat on there. I ain't no meat, that boys. Well, if you haven't guessed, we're back for another week of the Duck Call Room podcast. I started out in the fan mail bag, so uh, you know we, um, we've been getting fan mail. I guarantee you, keep it up. We're gonna have enough Mister and Missus T's to float our boats. We'll be able to catch crappy and tomato juice or something. I don't well, know. Well, what but, I said a while ago. What? Y'all need to make happen. What you need a refrigerator up no. here? No. Oh. Well, no, we got uh, we got that. Well, first of all, he he said it first. You know, give me a cup, some ice, and I'm gonna have me a shot of this bloody Mary mix. Then I the other it. thing I was talking about, y'all said, is that we need a phone in here. So when we tell some of our fans, the sidekicks, cool people, they can call in and. Say what they want us to discuss. Well, that's part. If you want us to right now, we'll give out Stone's phone number and they can call in right now, huh? <laughs> Stone said negative on that. <laughs> Ghost Rider. No, sir. Right. Uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> As the keeper of the emails, I don't know that we want a phone because <clears throat> yeah. there are some wild emails that come oh, in. I mm-hmm. didn't know you was the keeper there, JD. Well, See, you learned something. We're on hey, episode boy. 14. He sits right beside you. You don't. I didn't know he was the keeper. Oh my goodness! Well, anyway, we're back. Look, starting March sixteenth, we're going to start having two episodes a week. Uh, we're going to have one on Tuesday and Thursday. The Tuesday one will only be found on the brand new Duck Call Room YouTube channel. That's youtube.com slash duck call room. Go there, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Let your buddies know. Uh, where to find us and if you're listening to this uh, on podcast be sure to leave us a rating and a review that way people can find us and um, we can all share in crazy goofy stories so si yes it's like the worst time of year for for us i mean football season's over duck season's over the too weather cold, the weather's kind of crappy fish. for yeah, fishing yeah, too cold to fish yeah and so there's just not a whole lot going on around here is it i mean other than, as a company we're sitting here just spending money right now because we're yeah, having to reorder re- everything yeah we got to reorder everything that everybody bought all year yeah so. but that was a good thing yeah it, it is a, sold out everything you had yeah that's a good thing that is a good thing i'm not complaining but it's just like everything it's a one-way street right now with the money around here it's like it all leaves but nothing comes back well right i know now. that's always a, so, a, a painful thing yeah by the way Ms. empathy thank you for the uh Bloody Mary mix. <laughs> I'm gonna go get you some ice in the first yeah, break. We're right. gonna take when we take hey, our first break. It. And hey, I will have, I will have a shot too. You boys. know that that stuff oh, literally hey. saved his. Oh no life. no! 
It that's saved how his life. I, look, that's how I beat the virus. That's it. Is Mr. and Ms. T. It, Bloody and Mary I was Mary. a witness to it. I can't wait to try it. Because I'm interested in what it well, t- I don't no, have no, no idea what it tastes like. Well, I'll bring you a cup of wheat and some ice. <laughs> well, you got to have ice. <laughs> you, no. So what? You're now you're at two gallons plus... How many was the other day? 72, 72 cans? No, 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 72 six-ounce yeah, cans. Yeah, but see, I got one of these at the house already. But I think I just started on the second case. The se- you drank a case in a week? Yeah. Good. I, I told you. <laughs> I, I, that's tough. Hey, hey, you can get hooked on it, boy. I'll give you. <laughs> Trust me. I'll give you this. When them Robertsons get on something. Oh no, no, no! They don't hey. get off of it. So. And look, hey, here's the here's the great news about all this. You don't even need the alcohol. Well, duh. It, well, hey, I don't. know, but most people ruin it by putting what do they put in it? Vodka. Vodka. Yeah. Oh, good grief! How to kill a good drink? <laughs> <laughs> put vodka in in Bloody Mary mix. Yeah, you got to watch that vodka now. Yeah, hey, yeah. It'll yeah, make your babies yeah. be born naked. Well, it's bad careful. about it's bad about you sit down and it sneaks up on you and just bam, <laughs> and you face down on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> it scared, right. scared yeah. John David to hey, death. <laughs> that's why. That's why I just hey, drink it straight, boys. But a bloody hey, Mary, cowboy up, cowboy up, and drink it straight. What the vodka or the Mater juice? No, the Mater juice. Oh, I was about to say hey. you can look at that two different ways. Well, hey, there you go. A bloody Mary is an interesting drink though, because you get like pickled okra, olives, celery. They put all kinds of pickled garden vegetables in that mess. So hey. That I'll tell you right there, if there's any good, you wouldn't need all them distractions. Well, I think maybe today Cy could tell us about the secret underworld of country western music. Oh, man. He, oh. He's got some stories that, that will blow your mind. Is that where we want to go? We want. <laughs> I don't know if you want to go. He'd, we, have to, he'd have to remind me what it was about. Well, we tapped into your music career last week, so we can delve further no, into well, that. Well, hey, look, yeah. I'll just say this. All right. I think it was the first year. That Uncle Sty and the Psychotics, we actually grossed, I think is the word, 300 grand. So, look, for someone that is not known as a singer. It's pretty impressive. Hey, it was pretty good in my book. Uh, 300 is a good gross, but all that matters is your net. Uh, well, look. Ed, <laughs> negative. Well, there's one. Two, net, two, three, that net had a hole in it. Didn't it? Four, five. Yeah, the five people you got to pay plus the the uh, uh, can't even think of uh, band? the one that books books the band. The agent. Your yeah. agent. Yeah, got to pay him. Okay. Then if you got a manager, which we we didn't get to that point. Okay, so we because <laughs> hey. The money wasn't that good, so hey, we we did without a manager. So what do you what do you what do, what are the qualities you got to have to actually make it in the music business? Hey, I think Vince Gill said it best. Vince Gill said it. Yeah, hmm. when he was uh, at uh, George Jones' fiftieth, you know, tribute. Every once in a while, the stars line up. A song is written. Then the greatest singer in the world sings it. Well, that okay. wasn't you. Well, no, no. That's why. I'm, hey, that's why Vince Gill. I'm using Vince Gill. Oh, okay. Analogy. He's talking about George Jones here. He wrote the song. He stopped loving her today. Then he sang it. Okay, and this is the greatest song that's ever been wrote and sung. But what you have to have, in my humble opinion, which look, yeah, that's my opinion. Okay? Hey, you've been there. First off, you got to be young. Okay. Can't okay. be old. Start young. Hey, that's right. Start young. All okay. Right. Number two, in my humble opinion, you really don't have to be talented. Okay. In this technology and age, you can sing out of key. They can correct it on the machine. Okay. You, know, you was- can sing and you're not in time, in right time. They can fix that with the machine. My dear, they can fix anything with a machine. And hey, <clears throat> and if they throw... Enough uh, cash behind you and promote you, they could make a chimpanzee a singing star. So you you need to be That's young. That's my opinion. You need to be young. You don't need to have no talent. No, no talent. So Nashville's going to love this. <laughs> but I said, okay. But you got to be marketable. But right. no, no. Wait. That's what I was looking for. Okay. You uh, weren't marketable? 
I was Miss Hamilton. <laughs> Let's put it that way. <laughs> hey, You're the most marketable hey, no, no, hey, look, uncle in America. Hey, and here's yeah. the thing. Okay, that's in my humble opinion. In his humble, you know, you opinion. know opinions. Okay, they're like elbows. Everybody's got one. Mm, yeah. I've never heard elbows. Hey, well, hey, I didn't want to go the other way. <laughs> oh Lord! Uncle Size top song on Spotify has thirty nine thousand nine hundred and forty seven listens. What is it? Uh, the Yeehaw song. Yeehaw. Yeah. I don't know that I've ever heard. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. How's it go? He don't know. Hey, I don't know. <laughs> He just, hey, hey. He, just, he just got over COVID. Uh, he don't remember that crowd. Somebody else made that a hit. Oh. Yeah. Well, okay, it was one of the cover songs we used. Well, the good news is you're making this show a hit, Si. So to yeah. do that, we're going to take a break and well, we'll be Take right a break, back. boy. We'll, we'll be, be right back. You, you want a cup of ice? Look, every now and then outside, we get a little time like spring has already sprung. So now is the perfect time to remember to tidy up and get your life in order. Si, do you know... What you need in life right now at your age? A lot of sleep. You need life insurance, man. <laughs> protect your family. Protect your investments. Make sure that nobody's left holding your bills. Policy Genius can help you do that by comparing all the top insurers in one place. May even save you 50% or more. You can go on Policy Genius, select all the different criteria that you want, such as term, amount of money, length, all that kind of good stuff. Um, and in minutes, you can find a policy that's right for you. All you have to do um, is get on to uh, Policy Genius, use their comparison tool. They do all that for you. They handle all the paperwork. All you have to do is sign up, get you a deal, and it's free. It's totally free. So while you're tidying up this spring, let's get your life insurance organized too. You could save 50% or more by comparing quotes and feel good knowing that if something happens to you, your loved ones will be taken care of. Go to policygenius.com to get started. Policy Genius, when it comes to insurance, it's nice to get it right. All right, we're back. Hey, we're back. So I didn't know if you wanted to drink out of a mug with your name on it or a cup that you made famous. Hey, I'm gonna drink. Oh, that's too hey, much. I didn't know. I just want this is for me. <laughs> oh. Hey, I'll well, do, you want just I'll do the mug in case you I, just want to see it. Well, you know, I mean, I don't want to waste uh, uh, it if I don't go. like it. I, that's, that is so red. Yeah. Hey. I oh, forgot I, I forgot to ask you. You like spicy stuff? Yeah, I like spicy stuff. I don't know that I, I prefer to drink ketchup. Oh, bad. It smells bad. like ketchup. Oh, yeah. That's, well, that's oh. tomato juice. No, 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 no. It's actually pretty good. I just busted that cap. Boy, well, don't even know the strength. I just busted bust a cap. Bust a cap in him. He's been known hey, to bust a cap. Hey. All right. Well, I'm going to let this, you know, marinate. No, no. Yeah. Let it get cold. I want to watch let it get the cold. real yeah. live first reaction here. I'll let you know when I'm ready. I, uh, I mean, it's yeah. It's, you want to be zoomed up on this? How can you not be ready? No, he's probably gonna Try go. It. I mean, look at you. You're wearing a camouflage sweatshirt, socks with your kids' faces on them. I mean, how can you not be ready for <laughs> spicy mater juice? Like it just smells like ketchup. Well, you it like, don't taste. I, it I don't. You it don't ketchup. taste like ketchup. Yeah, I knew. It. <laughs> <laughs> I knew. It. That, you drank that much of this? Hey, who are you talking about? <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> He's chugging it. <laughs> it's not spicy. Okay, there it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wait yeah. for it. You wait, wait for like, it. You drink one of them and then tell me it ain't spicy. I mean, it kind of just tastes like tomato sauce. Oh. Like from a can. Like drinking hey, a, like drinking just, a hey, pizza? I like it. Yeah. Uh, I mean. I'm a good job, J.D. <laughs> I'm going to add that to my barbecue sauce. Uh, yeah, you could. No, no. I'm serious. I'm going to add that baby there to my barbecue sauce. What if you used it with uh, spaghetti and meatballs? Yeah, that's what it tastes like. Like when, whenever you were just learning how to make spaghetti. I done that the other night. We made, I made spaghetti, you know, meat sauce. <clears throat> well, I wanted hot dogs and I didn't have no chili. So I said, wait a minute. I got my spaghetti sauce, so I had spaghetti dogs. Spaghetti Sp sauce dogs. Spaghetti dog. Yeah, spaghetti sauce dogs. <laughs> Is there anything more redneck than that? Hey, I want a chili dog. We ain't got no chili, but and we got this jar of tomato <laughs> sauce. Let's eat that. Hey. Cut up hot dogs and roll with it. Hey, roll with it, baby. I feel funny from what? drinking that. Well, drink the rest of you it. You are funny, J.D. <laughs> <laughs> you, you look funny, too, son. <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, keep drinking it. You'll end up like that. Yeah, that's 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 actually what I'm going for. Oh my goodness gracious! Anyways, just, I don't. So you don't like it? No, nah. no, nah, he ain't a fan. <laughs> no. Nah. John I, Davis said, "Ask me if I like it." Yeah, we know you like okay. it. Okay. Right. I mean, it's not the worst thing ever. I just can't imagine like picking this over like a a Coke. Yeah. Well, you understand why some people choose to put vodka in it now. Yeah, it makes Maybe. sense, don't it? Yeah. Uh, you know, yes, sir. people tell me that they got real expensive uh, whiskey and stuff, like three thousand dollars a bottle. Mm-hmm. I've never had that. Pappy Van Winkle. Yeah. Yeah. What about it? This here is about I don't know what that costs. But hey, I'd take that right there every time, one hundred percent, as the best whiskey you could ever buy. Mm. Do you you don't drink I'm, whiskey, so that makes a lot of no, sense. No, no, I drink whiskey every now and then. But I mean, hey, I'm just telling you, okay. <laughs> every now and then, I used to think I knew where this show would go every week, but uh, now no, I have, I don't know where we're going. Know. I don't know right, where we've been. Right. I don't. Right. Like, where are we going with it? I got no. I'm what, looking. What are we gonna do with it? Well, now yeah. we're just looking at Walmart.com, Mister and Mrs. T. Well, let's talk. Uh, let's talk about the music. You know. Oh, here we I go. Got, yeah. I got back on back on back topic. On the Stone. Music. I like. I got uh, three kids, and uh, of course, I, I have to pay attention to what they're listening to. And you know, it, it is the world we're living in today. It is extremely difficult to find appropriate music. For your kids to listen to other than christian music it's uh the vulgarity of it all it's just i can't you know i can't unlisten to what i've heard yeah and and they have access to it it is easy access to it so and now you know my friends will say um who was telling me that that day one guy said you know but but christian music just ain't that good compared to secular music country music and whatnot that uh, depends hey i got one word for you <clears throat> crowder yeah you ever heard of crowder or zach williams zach Either williams one. yeah hey country uh, uh christian yeah. music has come a long way in a short amount of time yep. so it is some good stuff out there for your kids to listen to be proactive let take, uh, make sure you listen to what your kids are listening to because there is some trash out there right now or you can go back, and this is going back in time, and listen to, like, Jerry Reed. Mm-hmm. I think is his name. Yeah, Jerry Reed. Uh, Ray Stevens. Yep, the squirrel went berserk. Uh, right. Hey, look, it's cat high. squirrel. Cat squirrel okay. gets a... The Mississippi uh, squirrel hey, we, revival. They got the people back on the right Can path. we just yeah. stop right here real quick while <laughs> we're talking about music? Yeah. If you would have covered all of Ray Stevens' songs, Uncle Side and the Psychotic still, still be, be going. They oh, still yeah. be sold out. Yeah, yeah. You needed if to you, get you an address in Branson and start talking about the, the Mississippi <laughs> so Squirrel cool. Revival. Mm-hmm. The, the, you know the way the day the squirrel went berserk down there. Oh yeah, the yeah. streak. The streak. I was Justin, like yep. Justin Wilson. Justin okay. Wilson. He's a recipe man. The haircut. Well, hey, remember but he's a funny song? comedian. He, oh, he's and, hilarious. Hey, yeah. And, and uh, finished everything with a big old cold Budweiser. I remember right. watching. And every him time every he is cooking, look. Every time he is cooking. He was talking about put a little sherry in here for the for this meat sauce. He said, and also the chef needs a little. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I liked so, old Justin Wilson. Yeah. Ray good. Stevens just released another album. Did he really? 2021. Is Ray oh, Stevens still alive? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. I was He's done. 82 years old. And just, he has a show in Branson. Yeah. You I'm should, you should have sure been his co-host. Yeah. I used to listen to a lot of rap music uh, as a young man, and mm. it was a mistake. I could... I could just start going right now, and I hate it. Yeah. Like, it's all just, once it's in your head, it's there forever. Oh, 100%. But now, I, like, all we listen to is, like, Elevation. and Kids Bop I, I don't like Christian, I will agree, like, some Christian music, I'm like, oh, my goodness, this is terrible. Well, oh, well, I don't, well, but well, I don't like the, but all genres have that. I would just fix I like yeah. worship music, but I don't necessarily like, like, Christian pop. Yeah. Like that's a struggle, which I don't like regular pop, so it's not made for well, me. Yeah. But yeah, like we just listen to worship music. Hey, I got yeah, one that, word for you. Crowder. Crowder. No, Crowder's good. Yeah, he's legit. Yeah. And he does some no, no, worship. The one we were just listening to up here, coming up here, Empty Grave by Zach Williams. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah he's okay. good. Zach Williams is good. Yeah, he's solid. You remember the day we met him? Uh-huh. We met him and Matt Marr. Yeah. They, were, they showed up at Willie's house with Rucker. We yeah. need to have Rucker on the podcast. Yeah, bring on. Rucker is a cool dude. For all of yeah. you. I've met him. No, oh, he's been You've through met, a lot. Oh, no. 
He was oh, like, he's talk- was, no, was, no, no. He's, he's talking was, about Darius. Right? <laughs> 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 We're talking about who are you talking We're about? Talking about oh, Rucker. We're talking about Brian. We're talking about Brian Rucker. Rucker. Who's, who's Brian Rucker? He <laughs> showed up here to work. He was on Duck Dynasty, and the only reason he got a job here was because Taco Bell did a background check. And Duck Tim, Commander Tim didn't. Dust? No, Duck Commander. <laughs> somebody. Duck hired Commander him. take you, dude. He was like, oh, we'll Grant, hire him. Grant hired him because yeah. because remember he got up at church and gave his testimony one night. It was a Wednesday night. I'll never forget it. He got up and gave his testimony and got to the point there about Duck Commander didn't do background checks, and you know that's the reason he had a job. I stood up because I just got to be general manager of the company. I said, we do now we, do background checks yeah. because. We're, People like Rucker. We're checking you, know? you now. But yeah. Rucker is a monster success story. He is. But, I mean, he's also the reason that these tables are covered in marker. Like, <laughs> You're wondering I mean, that story. That's, that's how this happened was Brian Rucker, right? What this. Is, all he, this. Hey, what does he look like? What does he look yeah, like? Describe him to me. Cause the short, he's, big he's, old boy with the with long black, hair. With black hair? Yeah. Yeah, okay. kind of like a okay. – he, he okay. looks kind of like a, a, a dark-skinned Godwin almost. No, no, that's know. who I thought, thought it was, yeah. but hey. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's right. Okay. okay, yeah. Yeah, not Darius Rucker. Well, hey. I no, Darius Rucker started out as Hootie. He's a he's a G now. He's, I like right. Darius. Like, blow, uh, blow, uh, what is Blowfish. Blowfish. Hootie and the Blowfish. Yeah. Yeah, not Blowfish in the Hootie. Well, well, whatever. You know, y'all y'all, y'all yeah. did that uh, music video no, no. with him, yeah. Wa- Wagon Wheel. Oh, yeah. And uh, it, no, the, the funny don't. part, you know what the funniest part about that video what? was? They had Jace as a bouncer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was funny. I, I didn't, remember that. I didn't even notice what Jace done in it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Jay-Z I was driving bouncer. that old the pickup stick with, yeah. The, yeah. with uh, three with, on the column. Four, yeah. Three on the column. Yeah. yeah. All right. Four That's on good. the floor. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, I was asking, but then you, can you drive a, a, a pickup truck with a, you know, three on, on the column? And what did you say? Does it and crank? And I said, hey, look, if you can crank it, baby. I can drive it. I can drive it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's size answer to everything. Hey. If you can crank it, Oh, I no, 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 no. Uh, hey, I was walking on a plane one day, and I was just turning to go back to find my seat, and the captain, right, one of the flowers, said, hey, I'm sorry, come here a minute. I said, what? I said, y'all got problems? I said, look, if you can crank it, son, I ain't flying out of here. <laughs> he said, go ahead and get in the seat. Just the hit the plane? gas. I said, no, no. Yeah. He got in the seat and Phil was right behind me. Phil looked when I got in the seat and he said, you ain't going to really. And the guy said, yeah, we're really. And Phil said, turn around and started walking off. He said, I ain't, I ain't. if he's flying, I ain't riding. He didn't trust you. Didn't trust Your own brother didn't trust you. Your own brother didn't trust you. Uh, oh, that's terrible. Wow. Hey, all you got to hit is automatic pilot. Once you no the pro, the flying is flying is easy. Take off and landing is difficult. Oh, piece of cake. <laughs> I think I could land. Hey, it. look, piece of cake. They can put that on automatic land too. Oh yeah, okay. Mm. What mm. kind of plane were you in, Elon mm. Musk? Hey, oh, he, seven, son. he been watching the Jetsons. Automatic pilot, baby. <laughs> I mean, that's where Cy is with this. Golly, oh, well, you hey. know, you know, we left out the best of all the country music. Uh, not the country. Christian artist. We left out the best one. Uh oh, Lauren Daigle. Daigle. Oh, Daigle. Yeah. Yep. God Louisiana bless girl. Lauren That's Daigle. That's a lady. That's right. right. Yeah. Louisiana mm-hmm. girl from Lafayette. One that can go for. Yep. Yeah. He's to moving the his hand. Yep. Yeah. He said from all the way at the bottom to all the way at the top. That's what he was saying about Miss Daigle. Yeah. This. Yeah. I remember the first time I heard her. I was like, man, she good. Then Real I, good. I I googled her and I said. Dang, she's from Louisiana. I had no idea. We got another one. Yeah, I had no oh. idea we had a Cajun out there doing that. That's good. Lafayette. Louisiana. Yeah, she down there with a boudin and cracklings is real. Oh. There ain't no doubt about that. Boudin, so. March is National Credit Awareness Month. Hmm. Si, do you know what your credit score is? Nope. Now, that's what I'm talking I about. I have no idea. But I think we could all agree that in general, when you hear a credit score above 700, you think it's good. You hear one below, you think it's bad. So, But did you know that's not always the case? Since it's National Credit Awareness Month, ScoreMaster, which is the new science in credit score, is inviting listeners, regardless of your credit score, to experience how quickly and easily you can add points to your credit score. How many? That's up to you. A lot of people add 60 points in 20 days or less. We've had a listener you know reach out to us saying thanks for turning me on to it because he added 135 days in a month 135 points in a month so 
it's all different. All results are different, but on average, you can add 60 points. So imagine that 60 points is $10,000 back in your pocket on a car loan or $100,000 back in your pocket on a house loan. Scoremaster puts you in control of your credit and finances. It's National Credit Awareness Month. Sign up in one minute and see how many points you can add. With Scoremaster, you control your credit score. Visit scoremaster.com slash duck. That is scoremaster.com slash duck. One more time, scoremaster.com slash duck and see just how many points you can add to your score. Si, what's one thing you've always wanted to know? You've, you've been impressed by Johnny D's search ability. Is there a question you have out there that ain't been answered? That, I mean, we know Black Panthers. We done been down that road. Yep, but no. what, what, else is, what else about this world puzzles you? Oh. I'm just curious. I Here am, we go. I am going to come up with the answer to that. Here we I go. will come up with the answer. I don't think so, J.D. Challenge accepted. <clears throat> Why do hurricanes go counterclockwise? Because they're above the equator. I'm just, I just totally made that up. I have no idea. That's right. He's blowing smoke, folks. The, don't, yep. don't listen to that. That's a good question. I've oh, whoa. Wondered. I was right, though. Are you kidding me? He's totally not, right. He's not wrong. Tra- particles traveling from the equator to the south experience a similar curve in the opposite direction. This creates a circular spinning pattern as the air travels from areas of high pressure to low pressure. That's why hurricanes originating in the northern hemisphere rotate counterclockwise. Huh. Ba ba ba. Below the equator. Above the Above. equator. Northern hemisphere. Sorry, get back in your mic. Hurricane. Wait a minute. Go. I got another question then. Uh, here we okay. go, boys. It's a new segment well, we no, call no, no, no. Hey. Sai Googles Things. <laughs> what happens? Sai versus Google. Well, hey, since it said it because of it's above the equator, uh-huh. what if it comes in below the equator? It goes the other way. The he just told you. It's just like when you flush a toilet in South America, it spins the other way. You didn't know that? No. Do they have hurricanes in the southern hemisphere? Not many. What are. No, no, but really. But, uh, but really, when you flush a toilet in South America, it goes the other way. The first time you see it, you're like, huh? I ain't worried about commotes. But it's all the same stuff. I'm worried stuff. about a hurricane. Okay. You're telling me if it's above the equator, He's, it goes counterclockwise. Kind of uh-huh. If it comes from below the equator, it goes clockwise. clockwise. And yeah. it's it's a tropical cyclone, not yeah. a hurricane. It's a cyclone. Oh, they did, renamed it. Yeah. They renamed it. Our southern friends renamed it. I don't think hey, I've ever been below this the This is equator. one of those, okay, like Ripley. Who's believe Ripley? it or not. Well, I believe In it. my opinion. Uh, oh, so what's yeah. your opinion then? You well, just, I'm just saying in my opinion... No, they they all sp- they all spin the same way. I don't way? buy it. Or you don't you don't buy that they spin right. counterclockwise or that I they change when you get down there. Just because a line, they say a line. Okay, an imaginary line at that. Yeah, well, it's yeah. not imaginary. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's I mean, like there's not ma- a line that's like down my there. My imaginary friend. Say hello, my little friend here. You have a imaginary. Well, you have friend. been talking, oh, yeah. Si. Si, you have been talking to your boys ever since I've <laughs> well, known that's you. That's what I'm talking about. Hey. Yeah. Right. We actually did a whole sequence on that, and it was hilarious. Oh. <laughs> they got me on camera, and I'm talking just for an hour. And then they turned at the end. I said, you boys ready to go? And they shift over. Ain't nobody there. It's yeah. just me. Just him. <laughs> Sign the boys. <laughs> Being the boys, boys. Sign the boys. Si, do you have any other? So we got we got your one question out of the way. What else you He's want, always though? been curious about hurricanes. No, no. I've asked that a lot of people, and they, nobody come up with it. Did yeah. none of them own a phone? I'm just saying, I ask it to a lot of people. And you're the first one to sit. Oh. And then you said it was above the equator before we even that was just it a, in. That was Which I was joke. blowing smoke. I was with you. Uh, yeah. And Martin was right there with you. Yeah. And y'all both. Which We're is right. Un- which is unbelievable. Y'all are both right? Of course we were. I've been I'm guessing right. right a lot. The tomorrow. world is coming to an end, folks. No, nah, man, Johnny D's educated now. We fancy. Education, boys. Guaranteed. We book learning. I do like to watch Jeopardy. I do, too. And yeah, it's fun. It's always the best when they go to, like, Bible. I'm like, ooh, I can get these. Because some of that stuff, I'm like, who? Hey, how do you? You know, yeah. you know what we need and to hey, And most people do worse on Bible. Oh, they're terrible at the Bible. I yeah. dominate yeah. that one. Yeah. Well, but look, the other ones are worse. So, si, si, you know what we need to do, Martin? I think this would be a grand idea. Uh-oh. Let Johnny D... Go through some of the comments on YouTube mm. about Johnny D. Oh, boy. I'll oh, have a true thing episode. Oh, here? no. Yeah. The, oh, the last see. episode, everybody was nice. No, no. I like it, JD. Let's see what the folks just, say about it. Just, just a few. Oh, I can tell you hey. what they say about it. 
No, there's just a few people no. that really think that you I, hate me and I hate no, no. you. And hey, I'm gonna tell you what the <laughs> folks are gonna say about you. What they're are they gonna say about you? You're a great person. <laughs> I'm serious. Oh well, it's nah, not on YouTube, but yeah. let's dive no. into that one real they, quick. Hey, then folks on that YouTube. Well, if you again, don't, hey, know. don't make me mad talking about JD. Thank oh, you. Look, oh, oh, hey, we got a little defense. Hey, let's see. No, so y'all better start saying some good things. Yeah. Now, most of the people that hate me have already uh, tuned oh, already out. spoken up and left. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> but there's a guy named Philip. Uh, I mock and mimic everything Sai does. I'm disrespectful and super annoying. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he said. That's what Philip says, sir. Huh? But sir, si, you don't realize when you're talking. Hey, I'm going to get with Macmillan for sending that in. Oh. <laughs> I tell you it what. Wasn't, hey, it wasn't. I think the doc hit pay for that comment. A different Philip. I hope it's you're listening, a, Philip Macmillan. It's not Philip Macmillan. Oh. It's a random Philip. Oh. Yeah, uh, but random. No, but it may be Macmillan. Right. It's the internet. Right. Oh, no, it may right. be me doing all that. It's Macmillan's right. burner account. But people right. also get mad that I can't sit still. And that's just they're like my legs shaking one person said it looks like i was on meth both of those are family traits at some yeah. point leg shaking yeah. hey, they, i don't do any I drugs know. i just can't sit still but no people don't realize that in in no way shape or form is johnny d disrespecting uncle si that's just what he does he makes faces <laughs> he laughs and weird weird sounding uh weasel laugh oh ouch and no, that's no, just hey. what he does but in no way shape or form it's is he disrespectful to Uncle Si, so you know y'all can hey, drop that one. JD's still young, hey, and I. I uh oh. You have kids in in school right now that they have. Uh, I don't know what to call it. They're sick. Okay. Yeah. They they can't help themselves. Oh, the ADD. ADD. No, no, ADD. <laughs> that they the teachers have to let them get up and walk around their desk. To, or, you know. That's JD. But J, look, I've never si, said si. that for an hour. He's si. got ADD, and it ain't no telling what else he's got. <laughs> Okay. Don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> but look, that's just life, folks. We all got uh, our hang up. Yeah. We've all got our little yeah. quirks. Oh, he's got them. But T. Right. He's got them. But, but, but the thing about it, Si, you know, Johnny D, he does love you. He he truly uh, loves you, but not enough to make sure you take your medicine uh, when you're dying. Well, I just tr but, I love well, him look, so much hey. that I trust him. Hey, you got you got. <laughs> You gotta understand, okay? Willie's JD's boss. Yeah. I'm Willie's uncle. Yeah, and Willie's your boss. <laughs> and Willie, no, Willie and my hey, boss. Willie ain't never been my boss. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's just the truth of the matter. Yeah. I mean, I was on the boys' show and I actually worked for him at one time. Uh, you know, but hey, I yeah. keep drinking this tea. This, this yeah. <laughs> it, Have you got hot? I'm kind of into it. No, now. no. Hey, you I'm gotta, sweating no. a little. You're right. <laughs> But I actually, I, when I, I read some of those my comments. My lips are on fire right now. Si, I read some of those comments, and, and they say, don't ever read the comments. But I read them, and I actually oh. I actually felt bad time for, out. for Johnny D. What? No, time out. We I, need to address the people that say don't ever read the comments. Because reading the comments, y'all say whatever you want to oh about no. me. I find great delight in reading those comments. And if you're clever and witty, I chuckle with you. Yeah, well, yeah. not only like, that. I, there's some I, people I that can are funny. I can appreciate And there's comedy. some people that are just mad at the no, world no. what i don't understand is in those comments if you go look some of them are just like random 20 words put together like the elegant unicorn floats by <laughs> the wheat one. bread you know it, i'm like <laughs> what like i don't i don't i don't even know how that comes to be like uh, you know but stone stone on that comment back because there's some of the women out there say he looked good since he lost weight I, oh look I just, look look at him blushing now i like uh, the comments uh, on the last yeah. one because they all like my hair hey. including this one lady who gives like a full dissertation about how oh, i'm a young millennial some people just don't like me because i'm young yeah and well, i'm a mean millennial to uncle si uh, because Ty uses a rotary phone, and I think that's funny. <laughs> yeah. And then Uncle, last week, she Uncle said, Si don't use good. no phone. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Well, you don't show up to work half the time. Hey, Rotarize or otherwise. <laughs> Wait, which one are you talking about? Here. Oh, who? Si. Oh. <laughs> but look, everybody's got their own opinion. No, and yeah. like Some people say they don't like J.D. Philip, for example, and I still think it's Philip McMillan, which he's going to get a you-know-what for you Get a proper tongue <laughs> lash. That would be he's my favorite. But, hey, and, but that being said, I would say 98% yeah. of all the comments are, are very – Oh, no. Inspiring, our, uh, uplifting. And, well, but look, hey. Uh, I think our last one had 22 dislikes on our on our YouTube page, which is like 
hardly any. Because yeah. oh. some people just dislike anything we do just for grins. The real question yeah. is, so si, how did you trick the whole world into loving you? There ain't nobody mad at you. He's America's look, nobody. Favorite uncle. No, no, look. <laughs> nobody. Here's the thing. That's why I tell people all the time when I'm preaching to them. Here comes preaching. I'm man. living proof there is a God in heaven. Because guess what? He's the one that made me. I'm everybody's uncle. All rolled okay. into one. All rolled into one. Everybody's telling me, you don't mind me calling your uncle side, do you? I actually feel like you really are my uncle. You are my uncle. Yeah. Well, hey. You're one of my three favorite uncles, and well, I got about six. Guaranteed. Well, hey, there you go. Yeah. Well, when I was coming up, it, it, it one that didn't seem that long ago, I guess it was. It was back in the 1900s. Yeah, I would like, yeah a long time ago. If yeah. you talk trash... You, you got a bloody nose. You better be able to back it up. <laughs> if you do you the crime, you better be able so, to do the time. So I didn't do no trash talking when I was coming up because I couldn't back it up. Yeah, now, go. nowadays, you can talk trash and nobody ever knows who you are. You so can, I think it's Philip McMillan. I'm, I wouldn't be, be surprised. Oh, Philip oh. may just be angling no, like no, to get hey. you weeded out and him in permanently. Well, I don't, hey, you look, know, you never maybe. know. I guess the power of suggestion. Oh, like, Philip gets enough people on his side, they may just kick you well, out. What do they call them? Bots? Russian? They call them they robots? There's some robots. Oh, no, these ain't bots. Oh, I will, no, these are, I will crush real, these you. Are, these are real angry rednecks that have a very strong affinity for Cy and a very low affinity for Johnny D. Yeah, but, and uh, that's yeah. all right because what is that Uncle Cy likes me the most. Because we're friends. You, what was that you was looking at? I was just going. <laughs> I'm trying to get back to our podcast. Uh, that looked uh, like tires. Tar. I have no idea. Uh, we'll get get back to the podcast. Right. We're gonna take another break. We'll be right back. Sai, do you know what the underlying cause of most pain is? Nope. Inflammation. Do you know how to treat that inflammation? Nope. I'm not a doctor. But you take Omega XL, don't you? Well, I do do that. And why do you take it? Uh, because it gets rid of the inflammation. That's what I'm talking about. And how long has it been around? Uh, for 35 years, boys. Research and development working for you. Oh, that's right. Look, topical pain relievers and rubs and all that kind of stuff just mask the problem. They don't treat the inflammation. Omega XL neutralizes the inflammations that cause the painful, stiff joints and muscles. And when you're size age, that is very, very critical. So it's got... the. Uh, Oil from the muscle from the pristine waters of New Zealand. It's 35 years, like I said, working for you. And let's help get you started. If you order Omega XL now, you can get a second bottle for free. All you have to do is visit OmegaXL.com slash duck. That's OmegaXL.com slash duck. Or call 1-800-844-4888. That's 800-844-4888. Not one, but two bottles of Omega XL. Anyway, back to the emails at hello at duckcallroom.com. This one is very stone specific. Uh oh. Because we get a lot of questions about stone. Because everybody knows stone's a stone is a master grill barbecuer. What would you call it? Smoker. Smoker. He's a, he's he's a, a chef. The man can cook he's outside. A, he's a hobby chef. I he's a chef. I love That's to good, yeah. smoke and grill yeah. any he's a chef. meat, any protein. So yeah. we've gotten a lot of questions about that, and I think it kind of goes hand in hand with this because people are trying to uh, learn how Stone's weight loss plan, how did it happen? Mm. What was it? Well, it all started with a crippled Mallard Drake. <laughs> I shot down the Mallard Drake. At the time, I weighed about 230. I shot down this Mallard Drake, and I went after him. Well, about 80 yards into it, I started hearing this noise. He, he, he. I had a heart attack when I done it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this story sounds familiar. <laughs> so ended up in open heart surgery. <laughs> So I got up to about 50 yards from him, and I, one lucky shot, I went in and killed him. So then I started I started easing up to him, and the wheezing got louder, and I, eh, eh, and I wasn't sick. I, I mean, I, wasn't, I didn't have a sore throat or nothing, so I grabbed the duck, and I'm like, I got him. Eh. I get up to the levee. I start walking down the levee. Eh, eh. I'm like, no, this ain't going to work. So I sat down. I sat down on the levee, 
And for 30 <laughs> minutes, I did. <laughs> That's when you look around and start seeing them little gnats up there, That's too, right. ain't it? Yeah. That's right. See yeah. them little, so yeah. I made a decision. I made a decision right then. If I don't die here. <laughs> if I make it out of off this levee, if I make it back to the rig, I, I am going to go on the diet and start exercising. Because, you know, I have a little bit of military background, which I, I was in shape. Played a couple of years of uh, JUCO baseball. I was in shape. And then I got way bad out of shape. And here I am at the crossroads. So And overweight. And overweight. So what? <laughs> now, going back to the question, what I did to lose the weight, I had a, what I would call a heavy diet consisting of meat, cheese and eggs i ate an omelet every night for two years oh you's like my brother you got on that keto uh, well, it was every a night? modified keto omelet? yeah I, I ingested zero sugar mm-hmm. no sugar whatsoever and and very few i kept my carb intake under 10 grams a day which some people say that's not good for you but you know i had to lose the weight and i had to do something drastic and then i joined the boxing club and I did that for about four years, and I just stuck with it, and here I am. And now but you're on that jujitsu. Well, I do, yeah, I do boxing in, uh, twice a week, jujitsu twice a week, and sledgehammer once a week. Sledgehammering? Yeah. You just go hammer stuff? I get a sledgehammer and beat the crap out of a tire with it. I'd hate to be that tall. <laughs> Golly, so I'd Stone went tall. from. But that's, uh, that's, what I, that's my new routine. It, it relieves a lot of stress. When you have three daughters, two of them are teenagers, you need stress relievers. You need to beat a tire. Yeah. Uh, J.D., it um, would kill me and you, okay? I would, no, no, I would no, never do that. It's that simple. No. If you tried to do what he did, it would kill both of us. Oh, yeah. No, oh, I thought he meant like it. Like I went over it one time and tried it. No. You tried to – you you went to boxing uh, class? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, no, I just went – he showed me what he does over at his house. The size quarantine video, remember? He, oh, yeah, Stone yeah, yeah, put yeah. him up on that oh, speed oh, bag, yeah, yeah. huh? Oh, stone on the speed bag. Like, it looked like a scene out of well, Rocky. Si, yeah. Si's got hands now. Oh, Don't yeah. ever doubt it. Oh, he I, si he hit them. me last week, and it actually hurt. Si got them hands. Yeah. He got rhythm. That's that Mr. music. Lee, okay, <laughs> that was the one that got him in the gym, and, and Mr. Lee tried to run him off. So no, he, you can't he run to, off he tried to kill him. No, no, yeah. No, no, but he tried to kill him. He couldn't. Hey. He showed back up. He said, well, they ain't going to get rid of him, so I'll get him in shape. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm stubborn. This man is 82 years old. Okay, he does the sledgehammer on the stupid tire. Yeah. <laughs> stupid. T- no, no. Look, above their head. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, about 50 times. No, about 50. About 360 well, no, no. times. I was, no, no, I was gonna say, hey, 50 in a set. 50 in a set. Yeah. Then he does it three or four more times. And he's 84 now. He had yeah. the COVID. Yeah. Survived it, and he and can't get out of Mexico right now. He's trapped Mr. in Mexico. Lee, we're thinking about you. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, you'll get home and soon. Yeah, is that a we miss him? Oh, yeah. Mr. Lee oh. stuck he, in Mexico. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's yeah. he's a yeah. national treasure. Yeah, well, he's yeah. stuck in Cabo, son. Yeah. Oh, you got the worst hey. places to be stuck. Or wherever. No, wherever he ain't in no Cabo. I don't like he's in Cabo. In, I think he's hey, in we're Guadala- gonna have to, Guadalajara. No, no. Look, when he gets back, we're gonna we're gonna take JD over and meet him, and I want to see. I want to watch him when he's. Shake hands. Yeah. No, I'm, yeah. I don't feel Mr. like Mr. Getting... Lee will make you go to your knees. Yeah. Right? I'm have 100... you ever seen, you, you've seen the Rocky movies. <laughs> yeah. You know the seen old man, him. Mickey, that trains yeah. Rocky? That, this is him. That's him. In real life. Yeah. I'm going to get my butt whooped if yeah, you do. Yeah, for real. Him. <laughs> oh, no, I was going to try to stay with him, and it was. Backpedaling. I was wincing in pain for, <laughs> oh, for oh, our oh, listeners oh, in the oh, car oh, not watching. That's a holy son. Uh, yeah. So I was going down. Yeah, yeah. See, that's why you slick him now. Because now you ain't got to shake his hand if you don't want to. You got COVID, man. Yeah, you, you go. Give him one of Jay's moves. Yeah. 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 Give him the elbow. Yeah. yeah. Or tell, yeah, say, hey, give me some of them big knuckles and put your elbow up there, you know? Yeah, he that I 100% know for a fact that old man would whoop me. All right, let's take one more break. We'll be right back. <laughs> let's face it. Look, nobody wants to take trips to the post office anymore. Uh, it's... You know, now these days, it's a waste of time if we're just being honest. That's why we recommend mailing and shipping online with Stamps.com. We use it here at Duck Commander to buy all of our purchases, all of our shipping purchases. So when you order something from DuckCommander.com, we go on to Stamps.com, enter your address, enter the weight, 
all that kind of stuff and we get you the best rate on the shipping to save you money to save us money and to save everybody money they've saved businesses thousands of hours and tons of money so Stamps.com brings the services of the U.S. Postal Service and UPS right to your computer. Um, it's a must-have if you're a small business like us or even a bigger business that may ship out even more because of the amount of money that it can save you. With Stamps.com, you can get discounts of up to 40% off of post office rates and up to 62% off of UPS shipping rates. So it's a fraction of the cost of the expensive postage meters. So stop wasting time, go to the post office, and go to Stamps.com instead. There's no risk, and with our promo code DUCK, you get a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale. No long-term commitments or contacts. Just go to Stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, and type in DUCK. That's Stamps.com, promo code DUCK. Stamps.com, never go to the post office again. Look, he changed my life. Him and that crippled Mallard Drake changed my life. <laughs> that crippled Mallard Drake. Hey, no more crippled reason. Crippled Mallard Drake changed mine, too. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't kill him, either. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't catch him. Show us a scar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got a scar. Here to him. Uh, hey, watch, uh, watch him cripple Mallard Drake's, boys. They're hurting. Oh, guaranteed. Yeah. One of them taught me a lesson this year, too. He got in there with them coots, and I crippled a coot and went over and picked him up. You don't do that. Scratch got all the, up. Hey. Yeah, don't grab no cripple yeah. coot. He'll hurt you. Really? He, oh, oh, oh climb got, you like a cat squirrel. Yeah, he's huh? got he's got claws on him. Oh yeah, he like a chicken. Like, I know what Johnny D needs to do. Uh-oh. Oh, you need good. to come to jujitsu class with me. Is yeah. there like a heavyweight division? Yes. Hey, oh, let's yeah. do the podcast from the jujitsu gym. Me and Sal oh, watch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just fixing to say. I'll Me be, and Sal commentate hey, the class. I'll, I'll commentate on it. Yeah. But look, no, I, I just started and. this I, I say maybe 11 hours in, and it is the toughest thing I've ever done in my life. Well, you I'm just, a lot like Cy, though. Whenever your body is saying pain, that yeah. means stop. No, no. You, there's a couple guys look like you in there. Oh, that's good news. But I don't know <laughs> I've how, lost a little weight. I don't know how long they're going to well, last. What's, though, the goal of, what's the goal of jiu-jitsu? To stay conscious? Uh, pretty much. Uh, uh, the, yeah. The, yeah, stay conscious and not have any limb permanently damaged. <laughs> Because I'm down a little weight from my heaviest. My heaviest was after Carter was born. That's a whole nother story. But we were living in New Orleans while he was in the hospital. And it was we were miserable people. We were in the hospital every day. So it was like, well, we're in New Orleans. Watch this. Yeah, won't go Drago's. And go. <laughs> I didn't get on a scale for about a year yeah. just to be safe. So yeah. I don't know my heaviest weight. But there's a picture. And me and my wife always laugh about it. We get home with our son. I was like, who are those two fat people holding our kid? Because it's. Yeah. We were big. You look like the one that gave birth. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. But then I lost a little weight. I'm I'm a fluctuator and a half. Oh. Like, I lost 20 pounds last year. Guess what? It's back. I got 15 of it back <laughs> in, like, December. In <laughs> December, I was just like, you know what? It's the holidays. But Watch you this. can lose enormous amounts of weight by eating meat oh, with cheese and yeah. eggs. Yeah, get on that carnivore thing. You I did that. that. That's what I did last year. But then but then I wanted nachos. Yeah. No, can't do the tortillas. Yeah, yeah see, that's, that's, tor tor that's, a, that's that's always my biggest thing, man. Pizza's good. It's like, good. I love a pizza. We eat like, more pizza than most human beings too at my yeah. house. Yeah, I love it. We and, get made fun of for how fried, much pizza we and eat. fried crappies. I love them. Mm. They good. God, that's like, when I fell off the wagon. I sent you that picture. Uh -huh. Remember, I was oh, over yeah. at my dad's house. There were cheese sticks, French fries, fried fish, and fried mm. chicken. You he get made on. it all. Uh, we got to fly. Oh, we we got to fly. We got a runner. Oh, oh hey. That's, All a, right. that's a good lick. I don't I got know if they got him or not. I got a question for the man that's in shape. Nope. What you got, Sal? I'll answer no. it for you. Stone. <laughs> oh. Stone. What? Right here. Oh. How do I get rid of that? Look. I'll tell you exactly how you get rid of it. You open up your freezer. And you take those five half gallons of black, black walnut, walnut ice, cream. ice cream. And you bring them to Martin's house. <laughs> yeah, bring them to Martin's house. And then you get on the other side of your freezer, and you take those 10 containers of, of banana bread uh -oh. and do the same thing with that. How much banana bread? Now look, I hadn't been eating but banana bread, okay? And look, it takes me about, what, three days to eat a pint I'll eat a little bit, and I'll put the lid back on, put it back in the freezer. Oh, Why see, that's where me and you is different. When I grab a pint of ice cream, I take that lid and go throw it in the garbage. That yeah. way no, I ain't no, got no, a no, reason to no, save no, none no, of no. it. No, <laughs> I, I, I used to, but I'm trying to get rid of this. Why? Well, then you just got to go cold turkey like you did them sagrets. Yeah. I mean, this is what you got to do. You got to get off of it. Yep. No. <laughs> 
Hey, at our, my age, our, I can't give up. A, or start smoking again. Yeah, I ain't going that route. No. That's what put me in this state to begin with. No. Okay. Why are you trying to lose weight, though? Because I had the virus. I lost, uh, what, 10 pounds. Or about, well, no, about 15. You did it? About 15, yeah. Yeah, he lost a lot of weight. 160. Mm-hmm. 160. Okay. I, I, see 160. I was going. I ain't weighed one sixty since I'm, I had to go in the special. Oh, no, no, look, the special I, shed to weigh during little boys football. You hey, know, I down there going, on the end in the I dark. Was going yeah, one one eighty. You every want? time? Oh yeah, because every time I stepped on that stupid, uh, whatever it is, scale, scale, scale. it scream. Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah they're talking about get off. Ah. Get off. <laughs> you know? Made that look, wheezing sound. Look, <laughs> if I hadn't, if I hadn't stopped, okay, I got the virus. I just went on up 190, 200, like he did. Oh, welcome to the club, friend. Yeah. No, no. (laughs) That's why I'm saying, you know, I'm up to 167 I weighed today. Now, I I need to go back down about 160. 160. You need seven pounds off of it. Yeah. That's two weeks with no ice cream. He, that, well, but he no, don't no. want to do that. <laughs> no, no, I but I just it. went to the grocery store. Well, no, 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 no. So I think 167's no, no. a healthy weight. I could weight. get. I could think I could work that out. Yeah. yeah, two weeks. Two weeks. Give us two weeks. Yeah. No ice cream. But and then report I'd back. Be, mm. But then I'd be like JD. Then it wouldn't be a pint. I'd just go ahead and bring Gallon out yeah. and throw the lid away. Oh, that's. that's, that's what, I'm I, just saying, like you're happy. Yeah. What's seven pounds? Look at me and Martin. You're way smaller. Yeah, than but hey, you've done it. You don't understand. Hey, no, I got. Yeah, look, oh, I, I I lost weight. I got up to like three, three about three twenty, right after we started the show, and my back was hurting all oh, the yeah. time. So I said, I'm gonna lose weight till my back quits hurting. Well, I got down to like two ninety, my back quit hurting. I said, okay. So I took the foot off the gas. I was like, you know, we good. Well, getting back two ninety. No, I, I stayed right there. Yeah. I'm good. Like if I get to a number, I can stay plus or minus three pounds right in there. But the problem is at 290, that worked for about a year. Then that back got to hurting again. <laughs> I said, okay, we we going on a downward trend. Got down 280, no more pain. I was like, all right, we're good. Well, that worked for about a year. Now we're back. I don't know. I guess I got to go down about 10 pounds every other. But there's going to be a point where I hit a bottom that I'm going to have to cut off a leg if I'm going to lose 10 pounds. So, <laughs> you know, I mean, right now I'm at like 268. You ain't never going to so, weigh 167. No, God, if I am, I mean, I might. Well, but what, I'm going to be in a box. How tall are you? How I mean, tall are you? I'm 6'4". 6'4". 6'5", whatever. I mean, so, I'm somewhere in 200 between would two. be good. 200? 200. Yeah. <laughs> Hammer, that's that's sixty eight pounds from here. Well, no, no, but I'm just saying that's two of John Davis' kids. <laughs> no, no, but I'm no, saying kid's I'm saying though, <laughs> six four on your frame. I'm supposed to be like two twenty, is what okay. they say if you okay. use that thing. Okay. Yeah. I'd be. Well, see, I said two hundred, so yeah. I was a little, I was twenty off. But I ain't getting there. I was two twenty five well, this time last year. Now I'm like two forty. Oh, yeah. We're gonna say two forty. It's probably two forty five, right. but there's no reason to uh, count. I, I like to round. So I, I Stone, what are you? At? I need to lose. I'm, I weigh one seventy two right now. Seventy two. His is and hey, he's, up, he's up a little bit. Sixty seven. Because yeah, he'll whoop you. What are you saying? Two forty five. Two forty five. I know I'm two sixty eight. Golly, I got side by a smooth Hondo. There's a couple of boats. <laughs> I got side by a smooth you, Hondo. You got side by all three of my <laughs> kids. Yeah, right. a Hondo. That's incredible. And the man eats a pint of ice cream every other night. He's living a lot. No, no, I'm, I'm telling you, I, it takes me three days now. I used to, I'd throw the lid away like you and eat the oh, whole yeah. pint. Okay, and I, I said, like well, no, cream. I got to get, because when the virus made me lose 15 pounds, I just, then I looked, I just, after I, it started feeling better, I looked, and here it goes again. I said, well, God. He's back, forget baby. about the ice cream. How many Twinkies do you No, eat? no, I ain't, I, I, I've been off them. I hadn't ate banana bread for since the virus. Look at him. I'm serious. Banana bread's change. healthy. There's bananas right. in it. <laughs> but I'm also of the opinion, so I'm just going to be honest yeah. with you. You 72? Yeah. Enjoy the rest of what you yeah. got. Well, here. no, no. Eat what you want. Yeah. yeah. I believe in that. I mean, and I'm don't, 31. Don't get to, <laughs> yeah, but you don't understand. Don't get to 200, Yo. but don't let 167 bother yeah. you. Oh, you know. I'm, you I'm, look I'm good. Looking, you do look good. Well, I'm look. I'm gonna lose this belly. Well, I'm fine with that. That's if good. If I had to get a rolling pin, and I don't think that's gonna work. I don't I think it'll work. That sounds that that sound like hey. an infomercial. Then, hey, then I may have to go to the doctor and say, hey, what them things they uh, clamp right. they put on there? 
Uh oh, I don't know. <laughs> well, I do. whatever happened I to hear, your space? I hear something about <laughs> doctors and clamps. No. I, I stop all, all right. that. Well, look, I uh, just, I'm just talking. I'm blowing smoke now because I hate doctors. Well, we've been blow, okay. blowing smoke for hours. That's here. all we do. <laughs> is blow well, smoke. Well, we'll see if Tommy John Let's, can make uh, you a girdle. Oh, yeah. that's <laughs> no, no, what we'll get hey, on. No, I ordered one of them, and guess what? A girdle? No, no. It's it's supposed to make one of these go away. Oh no! Look. <laughs> No, it just hide. Oh no, no, look! You got to put your oxygen on to get in it, don't oh, you? Oh no, no, no! Look, <laughs> I, I put it on, and look, I'm about to pass out, so I gotta get out of it. Okay. COPD. Now, hey, look! But he may, go, but hey, he gonna lose that seven no, pounds. No, he look, can't get dressed. Hey, but he gonna no, lose no, that seven no, 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 no! Look, <laughs> I, I could. Yeah, that was never gonna work. I couldn't stand the word. Okay, because I was over. That's the point. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you don't got back I, on that wheel. Oh no, hey, my <laughs> wife, hey, what will happen? No, no, my <laughs> wife will come in there and tell me, uh oh, oh, he ain't got a pulse. Oh well, look, he ain't got a heartbeat. He died. Oh, will you wear? I, will you wear just no, that no, one day? No, no, him? I, no, I don't even know if I could. I'm serious. I, I'll okay, have to, I'll, I'll make a deal with you. Well, no, I'll make a deal with you. Try to put it on in here. Oh, I'll do that. Yes. No, I'll do that. Okay, no, I'll do that. Look. And we'll all take a turn trying to put it on. Oh, no, no. Yeah. Hey. I'm going first if we do that. Oh, Look come here. On, son. I bet you can't wear it five, uh, no, three minutes. I bet you if it's your size, you, I can't get it over one of my legs. Or my head. I don't know if it goes from the top or the bottom, but which way does it come? Does it come uh, up or does it go no, down? No, it, it goes, I guess. I tried it. From my feet up. He said it came with a bottle of lube. Oh, no, no, no. You're supposed That's, to put it on your belly to help it go go away. Oh, it's got I grease just, with it. Well, no, no. I, I didn't even use the, the uh, salve or whatever yeah. it is. The grease, yeah. <laughs> the butter. Yeah. Hey. He's got a stick of butter rubbing it on his belly oh, no, so no, he can no, get no, it in his hey, underwear. Look, I don't guess he shipped it back yet. You know, yeah. it's gonna be, you know, she got to take it, send it back and get her money back. Oh, I'll give you $20 to keep that thing. <laughs> well, hey. This could be a good party oh, trick no, no. Here. <laughs> If I can get it on, it's going to be funny as all get out. Guaranteed. So you got Christine to order that for oh, you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. He saw that on I his. I saw it on somewhere. <laughs> saw it in somewhere. In his, his Western land. break. Yeah, TV land got or, him. No, he got it in between <laughs> Daryl's garage and Daryl's house. You oh, know no, hey. Them. Oh That's what happens. You know what happens when you watch TV at 2 p.m.? You start ordering crap like that. Like That's well, that's, that's, that's the kind of stuff. Well, you, know, I had, well, look, I had you end up with up. that, a life alert, and, well, and hey, upside the, down hanging tomato plants. Hey, I mean, no, that's no, the kind hey, of crap here, you But he's up. really good at the prices hey, right. Yeah. No, no. Here, <laughs> here's the thing. Cause see, I, I tried to work it off his way. I, I ain't got No, no I can't. We, I, we ain't there, boy. I can't whoop, I can't whoop that. Yeah. Okay? So, no. I'm with you. So I said, well, I said, they say it'll do it. I said, in the name of what, 1995? I said, 20, what's $20 to me? <laughs> and you probably got a his and hers. You know, and I said, hey, order it, you know. But then the funny part was, hey, my wife's over just dying laughing. <laughs> you know. And I said, help me get this stupid thing off. It's killing me. <laughs> Could you get it up? Were you stuck in it? Oh, yes. That's the first no, no, time Christine hey. undressed you in years. Hey, hey that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, boy. <laughs> but I, in my younger day, I had my, I had my fun. Oh, oh God. Lord have mercy. Gotta, Johnny, dude, get us back on work. track. We need a Bible verse. Bible we're, verse we're to down send a us bad out. Place. Hey, we well, we talked about bodily training. So, First Timothy 4, 8. For while bodily training is of some value, godliness is of value in every way as it holds promise for the present life and also for...